Hello, wonderful friends. Welcome to our dynamic power flow. So today's practice is going to be a powerful fusion of a yoga workout with just a really powerful movement class. We're going to be working a little bit on our core, lower body, and really giving your entire body a really nice fiery workout. You're not going to need any equipment or any props, but I always recommend having some blocks if you need a little bit of extra help. So once you've got everything you need, let's get started. The yoga class you're about to enjoy is part of our 31 Days of Yoga, The Journey of the Cosmic Soul free program. You can access the rest of the 30 classes by simply clicking the link in the description of this video and get it today absolutely free. All right, friends, we're going to start today coming to the back of our mat in a seated position. Now, before we get into child's pose, let's just come into our connective moment of the practice, a moment for us to set that intention, introduce our mantra that I hope you can carry in your heart throughout this practice, but also throughout the rest of your day. So, for this, I'd like you to place your hands on top of your knees, palms open in a very receptive mudra, I would say, with the palms of your hands, welcoming energy and power from the universe, taking a deep breath in, exhale out, just allowing yourself to find that grounding, that presence, just gently repeating to yourself. I am one with the universe, and its power flows through me. A simple mantra that reminds us of our oneness and interconnectedness to everything around us, and that we are powerful, and that power we are going to ignite today through this practice together to remind ourselves of exactly that. In your next breath, open your eyes. And let's reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, slowly fall forward into a child's pose. Release, forehead down, inhale. And then exhale, rolling vertebra by vertebra all the way up to our hands and knees position. So to begin today, we're going to really start to awaken the core, get a little bit into the shoulders. So bear stance, tuck your toes underneath, pull the belly butt right into your spine. Go ahead and lift your knees off the mat. So you're just hovering the knees, shoulders directly over your wrist. We're going to take two steps back into a high plank, step, step and then two steps forward into bear stance, step, step. That's it, so we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, you got it. So really start to feel that heat building up in the body, those muscles starting to be reawakened, the core, the shoulders, the wrists, good. Two more, step, step, and in, step, step, and in. Step, step, holding your plank. Come all the way up into downward facing dog. Allow the heels to press all the way down. Just take a breath, feel this wonderful stretch through the body. Inhale, exhale, come forward into a plank position, but I want you to bring your right knee with you. Touch the knee to the floor and then step back into downward facing dog. Other side, left knee taps, step back, downward dog. Keep it going. Right knee and back. Left knee and back. Right knee, tap, step back. Left knee, tap, step back. You got it. Tap and back. Four more. Tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. Great job. Come back into a full plank position and then take your chaturanga all the way down. Release the toes, upward facing dog. Hold it here for a breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
inhale right knee taps back to the mat tap hold it here three two one drop the foot lift that left leg you're gonna give me four push-ups four three two one left foot steps forward reaching your arms up low lunge open those shoulders deep breath in tuck your toes underneath the back toes from here lift up into high lunge one bring the knee down two bring it down three and hold it four hands come right down towards the front of your mat beautiful from this position I would like you to simply bring your back leg the right leg through come all the way forward into what I call a little pistol squat maybe bring it all the way down if this is a little bit too challenging for you bring it up step it all the way back good and then from here step back into plank and give me a flow chaturanga a little bit fancy work remember you can always modify come up downward facing dog let's do that again on the other side left leg taps hold it up hold for four three two one drop the knee lift your right leg pull the navel to the spine four push-ups four three two one that back leg bring it in and just step it right through if you need to open that arm you can just to make it a little easier opening up into low lunge open through that chest center hold it here breathe in tuck your back toes lift for one lower down two three hold it four bring the hands down keep the hands there in that back foot comes in bring it forward into that pistol squat bring it back through and from here just keep the hands down step back into plank chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog hold it here for one breath exhale two breaths exhale beautiful go a little deeper last breath in awesome exhale come through into high plank position opening to your side plank onto your right hand stack your feet open and reach your left arm up if this is too challenging top leg can come forward or more modification is to bend that bottom knee okay so three different variations from here what we're going to do take that top arm make that yana mudra as we did before index and thumb connected bring that arm through and open for one bring it through and two and three and four you got it starting to get a little bit more into the obliques five into the core into the shoulder six seven eight two more guys nine last one and ten that top leg now you're gonna bend the knee and just step it behind you from here lift into that wild thing opening through that center lift 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 then come forward with that arm stay in that hand mudra if you can reach it to the back of your mat and then lift the hips up for one bring it down exhale to opening through that heart center bring it down and three bring it down and four hold this wild thing open 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 beautiful come through back into that side plank back into your high plank flow it out chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog deep breath in exhale out another breath in exhale come through into high plank let's take it right to the other side onto that left hand stack your feet right arm reaches take that mudra index and thumb together whatever variation that you need take that and then let's go together bring it through and open for one and two reach and three reach four five 
six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it there. Now pull that right knee in, step it behind you, and then lift up, lift up, opening through that wild thing. Drop the hips all the way down as you point the fingers to the back of your mat, and then open and reach for one. Bring it down, and two. Bring it down, and three. Bring it down, and four. Open, 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 hold and expand. Come through, back into side plank, high plank, flow it out, chaturanga. Upper dog, downward facing dog. Give me two breaths here. You're doing great, my friends. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat, land with your feet together. Bend your knees right away into your Utkatasana chair, get nice and deep. Get as deep as you can, deep as you can. Drop the hands down, jump right back into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Go right into Utkatasana, bend your knees, get nice and deep, get deep, get deep, get deep. Get deep. Hands down, jump right in, chaturanga or plank chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, two more times. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop forward, right up. Get even lower if you can really feel that fire. Hands down, jump back, upward dog. Downward dog, one breath in, one breath out. Get nice and deep here, ujjayi breath. Constrict the back of your throat here so you feel that sensation, ocean sound, the back of your throat. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front. Come right up into your Utkatasana. Get a little deeper, get a little deeper. Hands down, jump through back, up dog. Downward facing dog. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale. Come right over to your elbows. Interlace your fingers. Bring your feet together. Dolphin pose. Just like a downward dog, but on our elbows. And we're just going to add a elbow plank here to really get deep into the core. Slowly from here, drop down to your plank. One. Lift it up. Two. And up. Three. Four, five, six, breathe, seven, feel that fire through the shoulders, eight, nine, hold it here, ten, come on up to your dolphin, release the hands, open up your feet a little wider, come on up to your downward dog, flow it through, plank, chaturanga. Upper dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees. Hop to the front of your mat. Coming right into our Navasana, holding here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. Now, what I want you to do, my friends, is take that right knee, pull it in, extend your left leg, start to lower. Start to lower with control. Start to lower, 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 lower. Good. Drop the head down for just a moment. Relax the shoulders. Good. Now I want you to keep those legs exactly where they are. Reach the arms over your head. Exhale. Just come forward. Reach forward and lower down. That's it. That's one. Reach it forward. If you're getting too exhausted, you can do the same thing and just keep that leg down and the other leg up, okay? Otherwise, if you're up for the challenge, stay with me, guys. Reach and down, reach and down, reach and down. Last three and two and 
and hold, 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 hold. Grab that knee and open and relax. Take that right knee across. Give yourself a nice spinal twist here. Looking over your right shoulder as your right knee comes down. Just feel this nice stretch. Come back to that breath. Come back to that connection. Anytime we're feeling this challenge, we have to remind ourselves that that potential is within us. That strength is, is there within us. We just have to believe in ourselves and that through hard work and dedication and getting on your mat every day, you are working towards that deep, full potential that you have. Good, come back to center. Slowly from here, go ahead and just lift that left leg up. Lift your shoulder blades up. And then I want you to rock yourself back into Navasana, holding that boat posture, arms reach forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, extend. Grab your left knee, come all the way down. Keep your right leg reaching and hovering. Drop your head down, reach the arms over your head. Exhale, reach forward for one. Lower down two down three exhale four five and six you got this seven eight nine one more hold 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 keep reaching keep lifting grab the knee drop it down drop your head take that spinal twist good job you guys go ahead and just allow your knee to fall look over your left shoulder breathing into the side body a very well deserved rest here just take a moment for yourself i know our time together is very limited but that doesn't mean that our practice will be limited we can get a lot done in just 15 20 minutes of our day if we focus and dedicate that time of just being present and digging in to our strength, into our potential, flowing with that universal energy of love, connection, strength, and power. All right, my friends, come back to center, bring it up. And then from here, just pull yourself up, lift your leg, Come back up into your Navasana or boat pose, holding just for a breath for three, for two, and one. Drop your feet, hands behind you. Let's just open and stretch up into that bridge variation. Throw your head back, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes. Good, and then slowly come back down and just meet me in a seated position along the center of your mat. Just take a breath. Let's bring the palms of our hands up again. Just feel that energy, that vibration within you. Bring down your heart rate a little bit. And just breathe a couple of times in and out. And just reminding ourselves of our mantra, connecting to these words as we gently whisper or quietly say it in our mind. I am one with the universe and its power flows through me. I am one with the universe and its power flows through me. I am one with the universe and its power flows through me. Just allow those words to penetrate your heart. You're more than welcome to stay in this space for as long as you need. Or close it off by bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Thank you so much for your wonderful practice today. And I look forward to seeing you in our next class. Namaste.
I hope you enjoyed this practice. I just wanted to let you know that this class today is actually part of our free 31 day yoga program, which is called The Journey of a Cosmic Soul. And if you wish to access all of the classes, you can simply click the link in the description of this video and get the entire program for free today. And with that, I thank you again, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>